I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about physical applications of the integral. In problem number 27 we'd like to answer the question a swimming pool has the shape of a box with a base that measures 25 meters by 15 meters and a uniform depth of 2.5 meters. How much work is required to pump the water out of the pool when the pool is full? Okay, so we've got this pool. It's fairly shallow. And we know that the depth of the pool is 2.5 meters. And then uh, the length and the width of this pool are 15 meters and 25 meters. <clears throat> the way that I'm going to figure out work done when I'm pumping out this pool is I need to look at some depth. So what I'm going to do, I need to set up some sort of an axis here. And so I'm going to set up my axis this way. I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is the origin and this is the positive y-axis, okay? So in other words, this is the point on that y-axis 2.5 is sitting right there. And I'm saying when I'm at a point y, then I need to know how much water is there at y and how deep am I at y. All right, so the formula that actually gives me my work is going to be the integral from A to B of the weight density rho g of the water uh, times the area of the water at my point y times the depth that I'm sitting at when I'm at y, dy. So I've got weight density times the area when I'm at a depth y times the depth at y dy. Okay, so now that we've got this all set up, let's plug in what we know. The weight density, so we're integrating from A to B. So y's, I'm making these slices of water in the pool starting when y is zero and ending when y is 2.5. So I'm integrating from zero to 2.5 because those are all the possible depths of water according to the axes I set up. This is my y equals zero down here. This is my y equals 2.5 up here. The weight density of water we know, it's 9,800. Then I need to say, well, what's the area when I'm at a depth of y? In other words, if I take a cross section of the pool at y, what's the area of that cross section? And it's just the rectangle. Okay, so that rectangle right there, that's the dotted line, is 15 by 25. So that is the area, the cross-sectional area at y. So that's 15 times 25. And then I need to know, okay, if I'm sitting at a point y, how deep am I in the pool? Okay, if I'm sitting at y. Well, if I'm at a point zero in the pool, which is at the bottom of the pool, certainly I'm not zero deep. I'm 22.5 meters deep when I'm at the bottom. And when I'm at the top, or when y is 2.5, I'm not 2.5 deep, I'm zero deep. So uh, when I'm at zero, my depth is 2.5. When I'm at 2.5, my depth is zero. In other words, my depth is 2.5 minus y, then I add my dy. Now this piece is important and you should check it. Whenever you come up with these formulas for work or force or anything, check what you plugged in and make sure that it actually makes some sense to you. In other words, if y is zero, I'll plug in zero right here and I say, oh, it's 2.5. Is the depth 2.5 at zero? Yes, it is. And if I was at 2.5 at the top, I plug in 2.5 and I'd get that the depth is zero. And it is. So this makes perfect sense and this is going to be the integral that gets the job done for me. So now let's uh, 
move some things around and actually integrate this. So first of all, 9800, 15 and 25, those are all constants. So I could pull them out of the integral and I get 9800 times 15 times 25 times the integral from zero to 2.5 of 2.5 minus y dy. Now I can take an antiderivative and I get uh, this 9800 times 15 times 25 uh, then times 2.5y minus y squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 2.5. I plug things in and I get 9800 times 15 times 25 times, I plug in 2.5 and I get 2.5 quantity squared minus 2.5 quantity squared over 2, 2.5 quantity squared divided by 2. And then if I plug in zero for both of these things, I just get zero. So that's it. Uh, so this is the answer. I would need to actually plug this into a calculator, see what we get. Uh, I have it here. Let me write it down for you. If you plug this all in, you'd get something like 11 million 375 joules. And that is my answer.